What the hell is this place anyway? Leon, I'm sure you beat me here. Son, we hadn't done a randomizer in a while, so I figured it's just as good an excuse as any to replay Resident Evil 2 again. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think there might be something uh, going on with the randomizer. Let's see what the next item we find is. Now I'm worried. What if that was like a, a key item that became the cube? Also crash. Well, there's the courtyard key that we need to leave the courtyard. And there's ammunition for the Desert Eagle Magna. These zombies only get up when you take the bolt cutters normally, but the bolt cutters might not be the bolt cutters. They are a wooden box that has a scope for the uh, Desert Eagle, or excuse me, the Lightning Hawk. I forgot. Son, it's the, their original character, Lightning Hawk. Do not steal. Okay, so far so good. Maybe we should just keep playing and hope... Oh, I forgot in the B scenario, we're never going to find regular 9mm for our default revolver. We're going to find this, uh, which means we need to find the Colt Python. Ooh, the spade key. Or uh, we need to find the Colt Python or the, the 1911. Otherwise, we're going to have to mix gunpowder. Now, we're sequence breaking because as soon as we walked up there, normally we'd have seen the cutscene where the other character, in this case Leon, would have been looking down on us. And then that would have exploded. So, let's get a little bit of snow because two fire zombies come out uh, after the helicopter blows up. I wonder if they're supposed to be the pilots of the helicopter. You know, I've never thought of that until right this moment. A green herb will leave it and it's replaced by a green herb, just <laughs> one that's slightly unaffected by physics. Now normally we couldn't go through that uh, reception area over there. Needle cartridges for the spark shot. That's good to know that they're here. How about this hand? Ink ribbons. Well, now these will actually be useful at a point because uh, we can actually save because <laughs> we're not doing no item box, no save. Yeah, normally we wouldn't have the spade key yet, so... Oh, I wanted to throw that away, but what can you do? Uh, let's see what we can do. Get this out of here. I'm still very curious about this. <laughs> I feel like we're going to solve some sort of ancient puzzle. The scepter... Okay. Um. Well, if we find the jewel box... That'll get us access to the back of the star's office. Remember, this is 6 to 11 still. And it's still a good range of Final Fantasy games. So, that'll never change between the A and B scenario. Uh, okay, that's one of the useless films that we don't care about. So we can leave that right there. There's going to be an angry lady out here. And we've only got three bullets. Should we try to get to an item box? I want to get to an item box so I can get my infinite knife. Look, it doesn't prevent you from getting the highest ranking of S like the other unlockable weapons do. So I don't consider the infinite knife cheating. Especially not on a damn B scenario randomizer where I ain't being handed shit. Don't you bust through that window. Oh, so normally that's, uh, that zombie bust through that window, but the window's not there. I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that we haven't triggered uh, Leon yet. Here's old Elliot. I don't know why I cared so much about that piece of paper. But if nothing else, this will lower our uh, difficulty ranking. So that's a good thing, I guess. Sure, some gunpowders. Why not? Who am I? To turn down gunpowder. I like how Claire got bit on her fucking thigh and now she's like holding her stomach. Transference of pain. That's how I would describe it. Alright, let's get some of these damn items that are laying around here. How's that sound? Some ordnance would be nice. Huh? A regular ass knife? Can't scoff at them. The more knives you have, the more worried Billy Birkin is when you get to him. Shotgun shells? You got me shotgun shells, Andy, but not the shotgun. What am I going to shoot them with? 
Andy. Okay. Let's think about... Okay, there's a couple of items we can grab out here real quick. I accidentally turned the lights off and now it's spooky in that room. The high-capacity magazine for the Mac 11. If I meet any brothers named Kevin, son, I'll be able to give them the best boon. And you are... Oh, we already grabbed that. Well, let's get the infinite knife. The non-stop infinite knife. And we can at least cut our way to the truth. Alright. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. You. Um, we want that for running around doing shit. Uh. I mean, I guess we could take an infinite Gatling gun or an infinite rocket launcher, but it might be, you know. <laughs> might somewhat spoil the spirit of the challenge. The Chief of Tenfei. God, if he ever saw me using one of them fucking infinite cheat weapons. It took uh, two hours arguing in his office for him to permit me to use this infinite knife in playthroughs. So um, just imagine the time I'd have trying to convince him to let me use even just the infinite Samurai Edge handgun. I don't know if using the non-infinite Samurai Edges, there's a Wesker one, a Jill one, and a Chris one. And they all have slightly different attributes. But I, uh, I don't know if they lower your rank or not. I can't imagine that they would. Not in a decent world. Not in decent society. Well, we can't go into that office because we don't have the bolt cutters. And we need to find... Oh, well, look who was just hiding around the corner and took my only fucking knife away from me. Fuck you. He's mad, boys. I hope the fuse is in one of these because otherwise I can't get that damn door open. Regular gunpowders. A uh, grenade launcher is nice and could prove quite useful if I had grenades. Call him a man. <laughs> oh, I wanted to run in that room to get around him, but he cut me off. I think we'll be all right. We'll hang out over here by the cold drinks, which from the state of this place probably aren't that cold. Probably not even cool. Warm drinks. Joseph just started to have a fit. Okay. We'll swoop in here. Turn the lights on, always. Uh, green herb could prove quite useful. I was hoping he'd have, you know, some flame rounds on him, or even acid rounds, I suppose, in these trying times. I'm gonna stand here and give the best speech to the police, or the reporters. I'm gonna be like, it's every intention to shoot that man with a grenade launcher. Don't uh, be in any rush, knocking that door open. Good God. Okay, we're just kind of calmly. Oh no, fax machine boss is mad. You got to cross that room quick. I think King Crimson had a little bit of something to it. All right, we can pop in this bathroom real quick and check out what the toilet first aid spray is in this randomized world we found ourselves in. Well, that's real useful, eventually. Okay, well, it seems the intended path is for us to go upstairs and uh, go through the spade door. Since we've took care of Elliot, we could run through here without any worry. Yeah, okay. What are we coming across? Well, one thing that could be super useful... Oh, that guy's still got my fucking knife in him, doesn't he? That bastard. Let's make some acid rounds to slap in this fucking thing. And then we'll take our non-infinite knife out and get some things done. Good plan. Booyah. Cool and the gang. William Birkin, so happy. Anytime you use any of the non-infinite knives on other enemies, William Birkin grows a little bit stronger, just like Diablo and his minions. Because those things are just for killing William Birkin. Where are you at? Oh, I left him in that uh, this room here mad, didn't I? Hey, are you still mad? Are you winning, son? Are you getting a high score? Well, fuck you. <laughs> he tried to grab me, but the acid got him first. I'll fucking take that, thank you. 
And while you're down there on the floor, maybe you can crawl over to an application and get a fucking job. Look, there's a camera just laying here. Don't tell J. Jonah James. Okay, now that we've gotten what <laughs> rightfully belongs to us back. Uh, I reckon the responsible thing to do would be to go put some shit in the item box. Because, spoilers, uh, the main hall item box isn't there in the B scenario. I assume Mr. X just picked it up and walked away with it. He just put it up on a high shelf where you can't get to it. Okay. So store you. Really, it was just that one slot. But in randomizer voice, you need every slot you can get. Because you never know when you're going to stumble across that good shit. I tried out this particular build of the randomizer uh, with a Leon B. Uh, the other day, and that very first ink ribbon on that bench was also that weird blue cube, so that's why I'm not 100% super worried. But I guess we'll just have to see. This might just become one of those legendary Tenfei videos that everything just gets beyond fucked. I don't remember what any of this shit is. Alright, you're an actual green herb, that's right. Needle cartridges, where if we find the spark shot. If old spark shot Magnum is wandering around. Okay. We can finally advance forward. Is there an angry lady out here? There is. There's one thing I know about angry ladies is they fucking hate when you shoot them with an acid arrow. Boys, they get fucking livid. The acid should make her fall down eventually. And then we can just cut the dog shit out of her. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'm uh, overestimating the power of acid. Oh, could she knock that door open? Okay. Fine, I got something for you when you get out here. Bitch. Fuck you. Damn, if you ain't resilient. Okay, I was gonna the only reason I went for that was I expected her to die. Uh, even if we had to stab her with the knife, so... Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. I guess I really don't need to be running around with this clip. I believe Marvin just saw us. No, it's that other zombie. Alright, in the B scenario, this is different. You gotta crown the fiery pigeon. There you go. I mean, that's a really important key item, so I can't risk not picking it up. Okay. Get this thing off my back. Do I have enough time to run over here and grab these bullets? Oh yeah, I've got the spade key. Of course, if I go in through here, the library bunch, this is like the most powerful. It's like when you fight Star Wolf in Star Fox 64 by taking the more difficult, like, top path. And when you get to Venom, you've got to fight, like, the beefed up Star Wolf. With their <laughs> Do Not Steal OC, like, variants, cyborg parts, and advanced ships. Oh, Marvin fucking cut me off at the pass. He thinks he's clever. Alright, you're real easy to run around. I hate to be the one to have to tell you this. Alright, where's Marvin? Up the stairs. We can unlock this. That'll get this spade key out of our inventory. Boop, bop. A couple more items out here that we ought to get an eye full of. See what we're dealing with. Looks like we got us some 45 ACP ammo. Not a bad thing to have. The pawn plug. Love it. Need it. Literally to complete the game. Alright, you two. I can get to that door before they can. I'm fairly certain they can't come in here. They've been banned. They got in trouble and Chief Irons forbid them to go to Leon's congratulations party. <laughs> and and they're, they're so strict that even in death, I'm doing the worst job of this. And it's because I'm trying to use the stick. Uh, and it's also because I'm trying to spell Marge on the left one. That's the mental state I'm currently in. Sad. It's the only way to describe it. Give me a little sip of this. Mm. To bolster myself. A full heal for me. How did you know that I was going to need that? Well, you cried or fucking cheating left and right. I'm knocking every goddamn door open. Fat Chubbs is out here in the hallway. Well, we need this. Okay. 
Lord help me, I want one of them fucking 45 guns. You're gonna get up. Whatever. You cried a real fuck of a chair, you know that. But you walk through that <laughs> open, gaping spot. Alright, we gotta drop some of this shit off. I was hoping we'd find a fanny pack by now. But you got to be real lucky in Randomizer to get an early fanny pack. Alright, we do want to go plug that in. Of course, there's 900 fucking zombies out there in the hallway. <laughs> I don't have anything to deal with them. We might as well bring this because we know I'm going to eventually get grabbed and have to use my infinite knife. And then I'm going to get mad. When I get grabbed, I get mad. It doesn't quite rhyme. Well, I got every upgrade for the fucking uh, Lightning Hawk Magnum. I've already burned my mission heal. You got me the expansion pack for the game. I don't have Andy speech, so I can't even you can fall back on that. The statue's left arm. If he needs to give himself a stranger, he'll be set. Well, on the plus side, we can get to the star's office now, but on the downside, there's zombies in betwixt us and the Well, no, on the second floor, I believe we can run past people. Alright, who's standing right outside of here? That's why I fucking thought, give me this. Well, it's a cannon, green herb. The battery to blow up the thing. How useful. I'm <laughs> absolutely loaded in, like, plot-progressing key items. But I can't get uh, a decent gun or some ammunition to save my fucking life. Um, there's just another zombie upstairs we gotta get past before we can use that. My big play that I'm gonna do is to make a beeline to where the star's office is. Mr. X won't appear until we've... Uh, Going in the star's office. So that'll give us a chance to run around a little bit more. The stock for the shotgun once again. <laughs> once again. The <laughs> If we ever find a gun, it's going to be like in... Uh, it's going to be like O.J. Simpson in Lethal Weapon 2. Oh, thank Jesus. A real gun. And we can hold it gangster style. So not only is it a real gun, but we're a real cold-blooded gangster. This is still cap. Don't use the stick to move things, kids. It's not good. It's not responsible. Oh, Lord, help me. Ain't I being teased and tormented? Okay, good. The main use of this gun is going to be to get people on their knees. We'll call <laughs> this gun's nickname is Layla because we're going to use it to get these zombies on their knees. And then we'll cut the dog shit out of him with a knife. If I knew the name of any other Eric Clapton songs, that's what I would name the knife. But I don't. I only know Layla. I got enough fucking ink ribbons. Thank you. If we don't walk around that corner, maybe Mr. X. Because if we walk over there right now, he comes around the corner. Hating. And then he starts patrolling. Wait, what's Wesker got on his desk? Oh my god, I'm the brother named Kevin. For the Mac 11 is mine. And we could actually use the damn bullets we found. Ah, the good times are finally here. That's all we needed. It's we're like it's like we're Andy, uh, doing a, a link to the past randomizer, and all we needed was like the cane of Samaria or a bow. These will prove quite useful over time. Oh yeah, it's hip to be pouch baby. The stars office is so full of good shit. I bet all the other police were like, "I oh, fucking goddamn stars, I can't get budgeted nothing." That crowd gets fucking everything. Spoiled. The hiding places film is good because it lets us search two more hiding places. If we run into Meryl Silverberg's son, that pal car will be ours. Okay, so what were these other things that I didn't grab? These other things that didn't bring me joy. Alright, Mr. X, now I don't need you to come waffle stomping after me. Okay, good. Oh, I don't remember what any of this shit is. Oh, yeah, it was 900 fucking ink ribbons. Boys, those zombies are going to be real shocked because I just noticed that the, the Layla, as we called it, oh, any gun on our hip kind of floats. Huh. 
It's almost like uh, our outfit <laughs> isn't canon to the game. Who knew? Somebody out here with knees? Sir? Please, have you thought about sacrificing your knees to the I don't want to have to deal with your nonsense foundation? I know it. Piece of shit. I fucking told him. Well, look who's walking up the stairs. Look who's still fading death! Bastards, the whole lot of you. Get this fucking thing pit on me. Oh, yeah. Look who did a real good job getting up the stairs. Look who was a, <laughs> a big boy and only partially shit his pants. This fucking submachine gun is weak. Alright, you do lay in a pile. I expected to turn around and have nine zombies just standing there waiting like at the Golden Crowd Buffet. Alright, good. If I ever get back to a damn box. Alright, what do we need out of this fucking thing? Store this, this, this. Oh wait, don't store that. We need to do something with that. <laughs> this, this. We've got the hand that goes with that book. I want you, I want you and you. Let's go ahead and mix these together. Boom. Okay. We don't need to bring that little handgun with us right this second. Uh, since we could use the submachine gun to get people on their knees. It's like a more advanced Layla. It's like Layla if she was an android. It's Battle Angel Layla Lita. Okay. Hey guys, remember me? Remember that time Claire Redfield came scooting through here like she was on her way to fucking MAGFest? To the cosplayer's corner, and you all thought you were real fucking clever and mature. Guess who ain't got no knees? Even Lieutenant Dan still had knees, but not Fat Chubbs when we get done with it. Forrest Gump it wouldn't even hire him for a shrimp boat. Boys, you know you fucked up when even Forrest Gump were acknowledging. That man was a saint. Well, look who you are. This, I've, you know, I've never given this guy like a special name or designation, but he's one of the most tenacious zombies in this game. Every zombie has like a set HP, and his is in the fucking corner. You know what this motherfucker puts in every slot of his World of Warcraft gear, son? Nothing but stamina gems. I still don't think he's dead. Even if he never moves again, I still think he's falling. Alright, I'm here. Let me press some buttons on this computer box here. What an unnecessarily... This system looks like it was designed for something where you've got like dozens of lockers. I'm sure Brian Irons got it for cheap at like a flea mall. The unicorn medallion. Well, hot damn. Let's see what's in lieu of our grenade launcher and flame rounds. We got green arms. We've got flash grenades. Spoiled for choice. I got just enough bullets to maybe get one more person on their knees. Is Marvin still in here? Oh wait, there's a uh, corpse over here we can search. Good for us. Hell yeah, more good shit. I'm going to solve the dog shit out of these quote-unquote puzzles. Hey, everybody. It's me. Did everyone come? Okay, that guy left that little office to stand there like a huge ass. So maybe we can sneak in there without him noticing. Whoosh. Oh, no, Marvin! <laughs> I forgot about Marvin. That's like the canon spot he would be in, too, in Resident Evil 2. Okay. Since you... Oh, no, I don't want to activate him. That'll be an additional fucking zombie. Well, you crowd just put me in a fucking spot, ain't you? I think you're real fucking clever with your low poo nonsense. Well, I've got an additional route I could take. Now that I've got guns and shit. Now that the LAPD will acknowledge me with my guns and shit. Alright, here's the plan. Sparky... <laughs> Rejected item. Yeah, that's that damn blue cube. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I could throw that fucking thing on the <laughs> submachine gun. Leave a comment if you've been screaming at your screen this whole time that uh, I <laughs> took out the, the Mac 11 and no extended magazine. You. You shall be my backup gun. Henceforth. Oh, I'm glad the extended mag did have, uh, yeah, you know, one of bullets. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I think it's kind of cheap and shitty, but what can you do? You crowd ain't never been dead. Well, maybe they're slightly dead. We could try to take this lady out, uh, but she won't trigger until a certain point, so let's leave her be. Let sleeping bitches lie, as they always say. I believe Ben Franklin probably said that. Okay, good. Hey. How you doing? Probably not good. Now that you've had one of your kneecaps fucking obliterate it. <laughs> and the other one sliced in twain. I'm not leaving until that arm comes off. Okay. You passed my test of deadness. This one, of course, is still Devil's Cry. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh my god, it's double hip to be pouch. We are entering hashtag a spoiled territory, boys. Good. That's the other. Oh, it's the, the one we need. I, I forgot that the <laughs> side hallway one is already open. Now, sometimes liquors have preemptively spawned in this region in the B scenario. And I don't want nothing to do with liquors, ironically. Okay, cut and tool. That's what they called cutting crew once they sold out and became big with died in your arms tonight. It's like, oh, you mean those cutting tools? Whatever. I listen to Oingo Boingo like an adult. All right, the horse plug. You're like, oh, you mean the night plug? I'm like, knights and horses are the same thing, idiot. It's too, it's like cougar and mountain lion. You are waiting for me to plant that C4 and then activate that fucking liquor so that you could come to life like F of Nessence is singing to you. Fucking ruin my life. I do enjoy this dynamic. Camera. There we go. I think once he falls out the ceiling, all of his HP is depleted. All right, what we're going to do for now, let's go ahead and plant the C4. And blow this thing up. Tenfei pro tip, and by that I mean anyone who's played the game more than once. Pro tip, if you trigger this door, then the shelf won't fall over when that blows up. All right, we've got the library bunch. What are their positions? Fat Chubbs, as always, by the door. The only one that changes is that fucking lady that hangs out by the stairs. She's over there hanging out with her good friend, the ass-eating zombie, son. It's very rare that you see the library bunch being good friends. Despite the fact that they spend so much time together in the library. All the effort to make this model. And you couldn't have the gun not float beside her. Like, couldn't you have made it where it didn't appear at all? This makes me want to like only have one weapon in my inventory at a time. <laughs> okay, what you got, knife boy? The Matilda. Waltz and Matilda. Son, if we run into any jolly swag men, they'll be tickled. Of course, if that fucking squatter shows up mounted on his thoroughbred, what a piece of shit. And if he brings the Troopers 1, 2, 3 with him, I'm going to be like, yeah. You can't do nothing without Troopers 1, 2, and 3. You're a punk bitch. Alright. The unicorn in the beast scenario are kids judge the, the worm. They had a, a contest where you do the dance the worm. And these fucking creepy children of the corn kids judged it. If I ever find a shotgun, I'm going to be so fucking set. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey, the library bunch. Can't help but notice that you're... Yeah, I fucking see you there. Nope. Well, actually, it'd probably be better to go ahead and use these damn bullets up. Ooh. Oh. 
That's right. Layla herself couldn't have done it any better. Well, she's going to be indisposed for a moment, so I suppose we could take a leisurely stroll amongst the library. See what the old ass eater's up to. You can always get the ass eater's legs if you're good. That's my version. <laughs> my version of the Odyssey. Instead of the land of the lotus eaters, Odysseus ends up in the land of the ass eaters. Alright. You seem somewhat dead. Miracle Max would probably be able to bring him back to life at the current state of deadness that he's at. Although, I don't know how you could convince him. You'd had to hope Miracle Max's wife ran out and was like, <laughs> he died for true love. And Miracle Max is like, oh yeah, what's this true love? They're so great that he died for. And you, she's like the love of eating ass. Boys. You never thought I could up <laughs> the Princess Bride so thoroughly, did you? I can't help but notice that you've still got arms to go in and legs. I don't care for it. She's the most dangerous member of the library bunch. Some people say it's Fat Chubbs, but he's like a paper tiger. You just gotta get them legs off of him. Matilda will help. Or, hmm. Because we found upgrade parts for the Matilda. Of course, we have to manually make ammunition for it. It's not really worth it. It's very disorienting to see Claire equipping this handgun. For some reason. And also the fact that she's, you know, Tifa Lockhart and has big old titties. But I'm not going to acknowledge that. <laughs> oh, Fat Chubbs. You tried so hard. You got so far. Actually, he didn't. He didn't try nearly hardly enough. Sitting here in this fucking gene case or whatever. Alright. For the library punch, you gotta take all their limbs. They're like the crazy 88. And Claire's just standing there with that knife. And she's like, your limbs belong to me. The library is secure. Alright, what's the next play? Hmm. Hmm, I say. She holds this gun so much less, like, professionally. What, about, what can you do? We could try to soften up Marvin and his good friend. We'll call him Blarvin. Where are you crowd at? Where are you crowd at? There's you. Oh yeah, Marvin's in the West Office. Trying to pretend this is original Resident Evil 2. He's like, you know, I back in the 90s, I used to look like Will Smith. Like, uh-huh, sure you did, Marvin. Sure you did, buddy. You'd think with as few bullets as I have, I'd take better aim. But what can you do? <laughs> it's the LP tax, y'all. So. It takes so much of my limited brain power to spew out world-class nonsense. You can't expect me to also be good at the game. That's just greedy. Even Echidna Chan. Echidna Sama. The witch agreed. Would agree that it was a bit self indulgent to expect Tenfei to both be good at a game and good at running his mouth. You're like, well, I guess it's a shame that we don't have either. I'm like, hey, cut that out now. It's too early in the damn randomizer for you to start with your saucy nonsense. Alright, what did we leave in here? Oh, yeah, more. F oh, that's gonna. We're probably going to try to pick that up two or three more times. Um, we have the book in the hand for this shit, but we didn't bring it. Plus, uh, in the B scenario, once you trigger that shit, a, uh, a liquor falls out of that window. So, what can you do? We're headed down to the item box. What should we take? Tell you what, we can go ahead and grab that green herb out there and these... Uh, I was about to call them shock tarts. God, I used to love shock tarts. Or as they're known nowadays, sweet tart sours. But in my old age, I can't do, do them anymore, son. If I eat a bag of shock tarts, it'd be two or three days before I could taste again. It just eats away at your tongue. If we were to go outside now that we have the cutting bolts, we'll trigger all those zombies. 
So I'd rather not do that without like a fucking hand grenade or some other high level ordinance to deal with them. Let's go ahead and pop this shit. Boom. There is a zombie in here, but I ain't worried about him. I thought there was. That guy's gonna bust in because we ain't got no boards. Huh. Normally there's a zombie in here. Where the hell is he guy? If better not be out here. Zombie. Have I got to start singing a cranberry song? Just to get this crowd to acknowledge my existence. Okay, all that's good. We're not going to antagonize the window zombie at the moment. Oh, there he is. I just heard him break in. Boys, he's going to get fucking grounded. Brian Irons ain't going to let him play the, the Sega Jaguar or nothing. That's These are Brian Irons' words, by the way. He's like, don't even think of getting on the Microsoft Game Station. Not until your homework's done. Okay, what are we doing here with this inventory? This fucking mess of an inventory. Let's go ahead, grab this and this. We can go boom and get the STARS badge, which is a secret USB drive. I still say that's cool. If there ain't one police precinct that has secret USB drives in their badges, what a waste. Okay. Uh, go slap these fucking things in the statue. Bada bing. And conversely, bada boom. I reckon we could even swing up to the star's office. See what they're keeping in that lockup. Normally it would be the Mac 11. But we already possess that. Alright, he's in there. Mad, as usual. What y'all got laying around in your offices? First aid spray is good to have. Spray, spray, spray those mortal wounds away. That's what Casey Lowe said. I need to show you all that damn... Well, well look what was just sitting around while I was running my mouth. Guess who's going to be the first to be inaugurated? Once we find the Magnum, we'll finally be spark shot, man. Son, Thunderbolt. It's like fucking Shazam. I know that's not his name, by the way. Spoilers. Okay. He seemed dead. Mostly. Alright, cool. I think we have enough ordnance to not be as worried now. Like, if I come across any Anybody liquors... Here? I can just shock the shit out of them. It's a good thing. In the B scenario, you can't impress Marvin by doing this. Also, why am I doing... Well, I guess in the A scenario, when the character goes in here, that reseals. But it doesn't explain, like, <laughs> did Marvin grab the crests and put them back in the things? I mean, I know the original game had the same kind of problems with the quote-unquote zapping system where you do things twice. But I don't know. Somehow it feels worse in this one. Hey, Marvin, where you at? I found a new toy. Remember that spark shot that you confiscated from one of the rookies? Remember that weapon you called uh, <laughs> Norse God uh, nonsense? Well, I got a hold of it. And I'm going to shoot you right in the center of your fucking asshole with it. I guess I could shoot him in his dick. <laughs> to Claire, this is just another zombie. She didn't have time to become good friends with Marvin. I like to think Claire was somehow recording this, and when she meets up with Leon, she's like, look how badly I fucked up this one zombie. I think I heard him actually cry out his wife and child's name. What a loser. Okay. As always, nine... 15 and 7. I still don't quite understand the person that picks those three as their top three Final Fantasies. It's just such a weird disparity. Well, thanks for the Day of the Tentacle dildo statue. Uh, <laughs> that This is from the Umbrella Lab. It's one of those Tetris block codes that I'm so bad at doing. Well, somebody was extra double resilient, but they wasted their one fucking chance to, to get over here to me. One bullet to the thigh. That's all it took. 
have to humble that, man. Alright, good. We're getting there. While the getting's good. Hmm. Might have to run past this guy at some point. <laughs> He's like, I weren't doing nothing! Son of a bitch. This is why Brian Irons had this fucking gun here. Because <laughs> if he walks in the office and sees one of the officers asleep at his desk, he just goes and gets this thing and shoots him in the back of the head with it for a couple of seconds. He would love to hold the trigger until Thor's hammer gets called down on him, but he knows that HR would have a fucking fit. He'd go <laughs> the guy from HR would walk in his office with the angriest look and say nothing, and Brian Irons would be like, what? And the, the guy would just slam down that day's newspaper, and the biggest headline would be, Thunder God Irons shocks another. And he was like, fucking piece of shit sleeping at his desk. I ain't got to justify myself to you. I'm frying fucking irons. Did we have that in our inventory that whole time? I can't remember. Okay. All right, what the hell are we... Oh, yeah, we need to slap this thing and this thing into that thing. Bada bing. Bada boom. Now that thing charges quick. Quick charge. Spark shot. Okay, good. Slowly, but surely clearing this place out. Okay, I need the cutting tool because we're going to go clear out the uh, east hallway. Which means I don't need that. Okay, boom, 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 boom. There you are. Whew. I back pardon y'all. Okay. It'll save us from having to do so much damn backtracking. For one thing. We never did see what these items were, did we? A speed loader for our little start and handgun. When we find the uh, frame upgrade for it, then we can get the uh, magnum ammo for it. And probably have a much better time. Alright. Oh no, I forgot. I missed the RE2 scare. Well, spoilers, there's a liquor in here where there is one in the original game. And even though I barely know her, I guess we're just going to have to lick her. Hey, sweet cheeks, how you doing? You're real fucking pretty up there. I'm seeing you that. I've shot the most fucking things at him, and I, I don't know why. Oh, God, where did he go? Sweet liquor of my eye. Hey. For some reason, it's not, like, sticking in him. Oh, well. I just needed him on the ground so I could do this. Asshole. None of these zombies should bust in through these windows yet because we're still technically sequence breaking. Until we go out there and trigger the cutscene uh, with the helicopter exploding. Now that we have the bolt cutters. Uh, a lot of shit's not happening the way it should. Gold drinks. Indeed, uh. I'm just grabbing this shit for the sake of just grabbing this shit. Alright, here's this is very important because I've done this before in a recorded video. These can be thrown away now, but don't do it. Because I've still got to use them outside. Hand grenades are perfect for going outside and dealing with a bunch of fucking zombies. A bunch of fucking asshole zombies to be specific. Okay. We're starting to get options for what kind of ammo we can make. Maybe acid rounds. Maybe shotgun shells. If we ever find that damn magnum, I can start pumping out magnum bullets. Cool. Alright, I guess we could go upstairs and finally proc uh, Mr. X's arrival. So, let's take you... We should probably go upstairs and deal with that liquor first. Even though I must reiterate the, the lack of acquaintance we have with that liquor. Hmm. Spark shot or... We need to save because I don't know if we're going to find any more needles before we get to the sewers. And if when you get to the sewers, having a spark shot early, you can just obliterate the G mutants. So let's make some more of these.
boom, boom, dollar. Cool. At least that sling's on our back. If Cloud Strife can run around with that big ass Buster Sword just sticking to his back, I guess we could handle a cosplaying Tifa Lockhart and having a grenade launcher hovering on our back. Oh yeah, we gotta remember there are ink ribbons out here. One benefit to Mr. X being in this hallway is you don't have to deal with uh, the liquor. Hey, buddy. Jesus, stay back! They did a good job of making him startling, considering you already know about him from the first scenario, the first time you play this, by having him fucking pop out right there like an asshole. Luckily, he cannot come into the star's office. Huh. Somehow very thematically appropriate. Okay, what did we leave in here? More, uh... Was it more ink ribbons? Alright, Mr. X is finally fucked off. Hopefully to get a damn hobby. Oh yeah, it's the stock for the Matilda. Don't forget that we can check the hiding places now. The hidey holes. Wesker's hidey hole, as he called it. He's like, at the stars meeting, he just slams down a thing of empty fucking, uh... What would he eat? Like, uh, <laughs> mounds or almond joy, just a bunch of empty raptors. And he's like, who's been in my hidey hole? Who dared pillage Wesker's hidey hole of all of his delicious candies? All of you fired. <laughs> Umbrella calls him and they're like, uh, you know, we needed them to like get combat data or whatever the hell they call it. And he's like, and I needed them to respect my privacy and personal boundaries, but neither of us can have what we want, can we? Okay. The Maiden. That's gonna be the goat. And the bird played the harp. It's so easy when you think about it. Well, thank you, sir. If I run into any gangle men, I'll have them on fucking blast. I wish a liquor would fall out the ceiling right now. I don't know if this is because we're sequence breaking or what, but I'll take it. Now, Mr. X is trudging around the building from this point forward, so remember we gotta deal with that nonsense. Uh, oh, it was my own footsteps. The telltale footsteps, as it were. I hear waffle stomping. Where could it be originating? Mr. X, are you out here? You are. He didn't notice me. Well, I'm a bit offended, to be honest. All right, what's our current plan? We need to go ahead and go outside and trigger that shit. So let's head to the... We need to grab as many items as we can. None of the think about it. Oh, we should have grabbed the stars badge today. Oh, we have fucking time. Oh yeah, the more we run around, the more Mr. X will notice us and the faster he'll come to where we are. So, we do need to be careful. We've cleared out most of this shit. The East Office still holds prizes. Fabulous prizes. I mean, don't build your expectations up like that. But they're probably not bad prices. Could stand to be a might be fabulous, sir. Realistically. Alright, what's still in here that I ain't grab? Oh yeah, this. Ain't bad. Love to see it. I believe the gunpowder over here is the other item we have not grabbed. It's not true. Do you hear this waffle stomping going on all hours of the night? What fucking item have I not grabbed? I heard an actual door open, so Mr. Oh, it's the Stam Ink Ribbon. Oh, well, ain't you just a can of ass Ink Ribbon? Good for you. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Could Mr. X be nearby? I still hear doors opening. I 
I believe he's right there. Hey, buddy. Jeez. Ain't you real fucking pretty? Ooh, ah. The old Mr. X hallway dodge. Gets him every fucking time, boys. He's not a fan. <laughs> I don't blame him. Okay. I wonder if anyone could ever mob the game to where Mr. X can follow you everywhere. That would be general, genuinely tense. You would have to, uh... You'd have to knock him down more often, I guess. Johnny Cage would probably need to be consulted, honestly. Okay, what's the best way to go about this? Other than doing your impression of a tire deflating into a microphone while you record a YouTube video. I guess we should go ahead and save before I manage to fuck up too badly. We're going outside to deal with advancing. The sun machine gun could prove quite useful out there. Blow away a few kneecaps, just a handful of kneecaps. Why not? Let's spoil ourselves. The hand grenade. If we have the sun machine gun... We might not need the hand grenade, honestly. Speaking of which, let's get you in here. A laddie. I don't remember why any of these fucking saves are. So, let's just save over them. Alright, cool. Everything's cool, other than my floating 1911 handgun <laughs> beside my hip. Just pretend it's Mako power doing it. Just pretend it's a live streamer. Is he right fucking there? He's right there, good God. Hey! Leon? Claire! Hold on, I'll be right there. Okay! Claire, it's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of the middle. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy projects? Uh, unfortunately, no. How are you doing? You know, just surviving. That's good. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. There, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Different time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Hey, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Figured I'd leave in that little heartfelt moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus! He fucking followed me out here during the cutscene! It's a good thing I saved! Good God, what a mess! Okay, well now that we know that happens, we can plan for it. Jesus. What a fucking mess. Maybe we do need that damn hand grenade. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Why? Why save it? Okay, and I've got to sort this thing 20 damn times. There you are. Alright, let's try. I, I noticed that Mr. X's music played during the cutscene. I guess he was just walking to wherever Claire, like, positional data was during the cutscene. And as soon as it ended, he was fucking out enough. All right, what we got this time? A little bit more manageable. You three get fucked. Get fucking smoked. As long as we can get their legs off of them, then we ain't got to worry about them. Fat chubs, of course. Every good zombie platoon needs a fat chubs. Oh, you came back again. Okay, well, at least I had time to deal with some, <laughs> some of these folks first. Fuck you, lady! Okay. Fat chubs, fat chubs, fat chubs, fat chubs. Okay, good. 
<laughs> He's so offended that I ran away. We'll hide in the Brad Vickers ring. If the game would let me click on it. Pop. Right, get me in here. Fuck you, Mr. X. He's like, whatever, you're fucking cheating. Enjoy beating off the Brad Vickers poster, idiot. I do love that little slight acknowledgement to the, uh... So this is normally where we would have gotten a cult at the very beginning of the B-Run. If you've somehow never watched a RE2 remake B-Run. And of course, there's the line medallion. Bada bing. Bada boom. But the acknowledgement to Brad being in this area in the original game, if you got to the police department without picking up any items. Just watch one of my many, many uh, RE2 original game playthroughs to get all this lore. Let's do some herb mixing. My favorite BG song. Herb mixing. I'm doing trying to do a bad cover of Jive Talking and I realize I don't know any of the other lyrics. Okay, what do we need to do now? Just put that lion medallion in there, head down and fight uh, old Billy B for starters. Alright, where the hell is he going? Oh, he's right there. And he's mad. I can tell. Alright, we're gonna calmly follow him and maybe he won't notice us. Well, Okay, I was about to say. We can't shoot this zombie because Mr. X will notice, but I believe if we just cut them with a knife, it might not make as much noise. It might not aggravate him as much. He might not come running with a copy of the Homeowners Association guidelines <laughs> to passive aggressively just hit us upside the head with, saying we're making too much noise. We don't even technically need to finish these ones off because we shouldn't have to come back out here. But just in case, for some reason, we do. Alright, we're doing a fairly good job of clearing this fucking place out. Some shit upstairs. We should probably deal with it before we go through the process of dealing with... Well, we could do it when we get back from fighting uh, William Birkin because... There's still a period of time before Mr. X gets triggered again. The spoilers, you have to go through that whole damn uh, thing of putting out the fire where the helicopter is again in the B scenario. And Mr. X, uh, quote unquote, appears for the first time again. Even though you're already tired of his nonsense. The quest log's like, good job finally catching up. You see, it's breaking fuck. Why don't you go run <laughs> Super Metroid, idiot. I believe this stays open in the B scenario, so you don't need the T-Valve, and it gives you an actual item box in the main hall. So many been And Mr. X can't come down here. No X is allowed club, boys. Even if X were coming to deliver it to us, he couldn't get in here. Ah, uh, we really... The responsible thing to do would be to go grab the Stars badge so that we can see what's in this damn uh, glass case in here. So let's do that. Once again, I need to start taking only one gun with me so that our immersion isn't ruined. Or you could just not look at Claire's ass. Mr. X, are you in here? No? Good. Let's just run forward blindly. And hope that we don't bump into. I might as well grab these damn ink ribbons in here just so I'm not constantly forgetting what they are. And being like, well, I left an item in there, Gorsh. Gorsh, Sora. We need to get all the items before a rock hits me in the head and everybody cries. Isn't that what <laughs> happens to Goofy in Kingdom Hearts? Okay. Pull this out of the E machines. Son. 
Brad Vickers doing everything he can to try to get Diablo 2 to run on that shitty computer. God bless his heart. Doesn't matter, Wester's just going to get him banned from Battle.net. He'll be like, Mr. Brad, I've taken the liberty of putting something you'll enjoy in your stash. <laughs> and Brad gets on his fucking level 99. Uh, he would probably play Necromancer, because you could just summon little dudes and hide behind them. And he sees that his stash is full of SOJs, but that he's also banned, because Wesker duped the fuck out of him. And the best part is, Wesker did it that way so that he could pretend he did it to help Brad. And that way, when Brad starts yelling at him, Chris could be like, uh, I thought SOJs were good, Brad. How come you're mad that you've got too many of them? <laughs> and Brad looks, and Jill's just glaring at him, and Barry's just shaking his head. And Wesker knows he's won. Anytime you can <laughs> mess with Brad Vickers and have everybody else agree with you, that's a good day to Wesker. He went home early. He went home at 4 o'clock. He's like, that's right, I'm going to enjoy the entire Disney afternoon lineup. I'll be home in time for gummy bears. That's what inspired him to make that virus that turned him into the Keanu Reeves super soldier that he is in later Resident Evils was the gummy berry juice. That's where the G&G &G virus comes from. Look at all this lore we've discovered. It's either going to be a set of broken keys or a gunpowder. Or, oh no, I forgot. It's the lion statue. I was completely wrong. Okay. Let's go get our Billy B killing items. And we should probably just go ahead and save. Because you know I'm not going to get a damn S rank. <laughs> a randomizer run of all things. So how y'all doing? So are you getting enough oxygen? Okay. Boom, boom. So when we fight old Billy B, we want as many knives as we could take. Some max heals would be quite useful. I don't know how much the spark shot uh, affects Billy B. Once again, I want to save it for the G mutants in the sewers, though. I bet uh, acid rounds he'd probably find rather distasteful to be shot with. So, we'll try that too. Is that everything? Okay, well, I forgot we already have some. Um, Might be enough to kill him, might not. I don't know, we're going to save, so... Return by death will get us through these trying times if we fuck up too bad. So your best bet is to have the non-infinite knife first. It would be nice if I could have gotten like two or three more of them, but what can you do? Just knife walk everywhere. Y-M-A-F or whatever his name is has got to do a Can You Beat RE2 remake while knife walking the entire game. Let's see if the RNG Jesus gives us a good Billy B fight. Hey, buddy. RNG Jesus called and said he needs you to die. Relative, relatively smoothly. Alright, hopefully he goes for the grab. He did. We'll give him a jab. I'm going to empty a fucking acid around in him. And then start cutting. Okay, that's not good because now our infinite knife has been consumed. That's okay. We've got acid rounds and shit. Not even the LAPD has that yet. Alright, come to me. Additional items. Oh man, spark uh, charges. How convenient. Billy, there's no reason to get mad. I'm just picking up items. You, okay, I didn't really need to grab those. Oh, cool. We could make a bunch of shotgun shit. Oh, I thought for sure I could run through you right now. Oh, well. We'll be humbled by Billy Bean in just a moment. She can do the dick. 
I never really noticed that before. Because I'm usually too mad when I get grabbed by Billy B. Next time he's all up in our shit, just shoot him with an acid round. I don't know why I didn't. Probably because I'm an idiot. Just like Krusty the Clown. The diamond key. Billy V, you son of a bitch, you were hiding that good shit from me. Alright, we're gonna have to kill him with what we have. If only we had a white gunpowder instead of that yellow one, we could make more acid rounds. You're over there getting mad, I'm not even shooting you. Fuck you. We'll have to use a combination of this and our fucking 1911 boys. Probably help if we didn't miss. As frequently. Alright, Billy B. Give me some fucking breathing in here, sweet cheeks. Also, get fucking. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> the double miss. Smart Roots to himself. Alright, if these last two bullets don't kill him, we can't beat him. We can't beat him. <laughs> we literally have no way to do damage to him. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, That's one of the things you run into with a randomizer. What can you do other than get good? All right, well, now that we know how to be less bad at the game, let's do something about it. First of all, let's take that because we know there's a big gunpowder down there. I'm kind of tempted now to bring the spark shot since we know there are more spark shot shots down there. Making the yellow. We could also mix that yellow gunpowder with the white to make two hand grenades, I believe. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm and ho. Let's take this just in case. And... Yeah, I think we can give it another go. Should I bring another healing item? We know there's a shitload of blue herbs in there. So... Eh, fuck it. Alright, the game plan this time. Be less bad. I don't even remember what was in that cabinet over there. But oh yeah, we, we searched it before we saved it, didn't we? Yeah, so we ain't gotta worry about what was in there. We did our due diligence. Hello? Hello? Alright, R and Jesus, maybe this time you could uh cut us a little slack, I'm just We're saying. We are trying to entertain people on YouTube, I'm just saying. Even the 10 Fate True Believers have a limit for how much patience they'll deal with me being bad at video game. I imagine. Alright, grab me. Grab me, stab you. That's equivalent exchange, motherfucker. Get a few cuts on him. Shoot him. Get a few cuts on him. He's down on his knees. Run away. Oh no, real McCoy, save me. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit there, but I was talking shit, so I deserve it. Pop, pop, pow. Fuck yeah. Alright, yeah, that was dumb, but I got emboldened. <laughs> Acid rounds made me emboldened. I believe that big gunpowder was over here. So let's get that first. Yeah, baby. Hell yeah. That's good enough things that I didn't necessarily need. Fuck you, Billy B. Nobody's impressed with your temper tantrums that you throw. Grab this. Fuck you. <laughs> it's so satisfying to have a fuck you button for Billy B. Not even Leon gets one of them. You think that shotgun staggers him? That was the easiest fucking boss in the game. Without a doubt. That's what a road turned by death could do for you, son. Alright. What have we not grabbed? Oh, our infinite knife. Oh no! Did you turn our infinite knife into a, a, a dodecahedron cube? Why did the, the old version of the randomizer didn't have this problem? It's been Powell watching this. 
The game better be fucking finishable is all I know. Uh, whatever that grenade over there was is the item we haven't grabbed yet, apparently. Not a bad item. Bada bing. And... I do... do, do. Here we go. Cool. We've got all kinds of RGB heals. Oh yeah, don't forget Billy's secret diamond key that opens his diary. He's like, dear diary, Annette was super mean to me today. And then a bunch of men in gas masks came and shot the dog shit out of me. Joke's on them. This way. I injected myself with the gummy berry virus. And became big and strong. How come the modder didn't go to the extra step and make it where Sherry is <laughs> dressed as Marlene when you use this outfit? So, Just saying. We probably won't get a uh, Leon as Cloud Strife to go with it. I have a feeling the modder had certain uh, priorities when he chose this outfit for Claire, I'm just saying. Oh, excuse me. Um, let me get <laughs> to a proper non-flashlight room so that I can make that joke again. I think that the mod creator had certain priorities <laughs> when he chose this outfit. Alright, get all this useless junk out of my inventory. I'm, I'm hurt. We can't rely. The infinite knife got us through the early game, but now we've got to use our wits. Oh no, is it a permanent? Can I not get rid of it? Oh, I just clicked bad. For a second I thought it had affected my inventory. It said I could discard it. I guess that's just like a fail state programmed into the game for items. I don't know. I'm not a fucking programmer. Is Shinji Mikami watching this? With Kamiya and they're both just rolling their eyes. I wonder if I've been blocked. I've never interacted with Camille on Twitter. But I bet I'm blocked, regardless. Just for being bad at this video game. Alright, we got everything. You didn't have to follow me down here, Sherry. I'm just saying. She's like a little duckling. Why do you pull out the flashlight here? This doesn't seem like a particularly dark area. Maybe it's because I have brightness turned up because you can't see shit in any video game <laughs> unless you turn the brightness up. It's just the way they're made. Or it's my cheap television that I use as a computer monitor. Okay, what's going to help us in the garage? This. And this. We're going to be dealing with liquors that we can technically avoid and we want to now because we have no knife. I just realized my patented strategy of shooting them with an acid round and then knifing them <laughs> does not work when you don't have a knife. How lovely. We need to come across some better. We need like one of Leon's guns, either the shotgun or the magnum, just so we can start using up some of this damn shit. <laughs> 